Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Venus sextile or trying the south node in a natal horoscope. As most of you know, the south node is associated with what we generally will emphasize very strongly, uh, maybe even over accentuate, around the first half of our lives. And I kind of look at this as a point where it's kind of like been there, done that after a certain period of time. Uh, things, uh, this kind of gets monotonous and then we generally go toward the North Node while not necessarily eradicating the South Node completely, but merely integrating it at least somewhat with the North Node. Now, Venus is connected with love, uh, money, art, beauty, uh, I guess we could say tranquility, uh, peace, things that are uh, harmonious, um, things that are refined, relationships. Well, anyway, people, let me get started. The first thing when I look at, when I see uh, these aspects, obviously very, um, very auspicious, and the person, um, the values that may have been indoctrinated or instilled into these people at a, at a generally at a young age may prove beneficial with the, I guess you could say, the abilities that this person uh, may emphasize more in the first half of their life and it could play a role very strongly. Relationships uh, may have also uh, been beneficial uh, to, this, um, to this development and we look at uh, this as well and obviously I think, I would say peace and harmony, this could be something that um, could play a role in whatever it is this person, um, as far as their, their abilities that are emphasized uh, strongly in the early part of their life, it seems like to me uh, that, that the peace and harmony and tranquility would be also emphasized with this. So if, if the person is working at some job or something that they're really enamored with early on in life, it might uh, indicate that uh, peaceful surroundings can be essential uh, for this person. It could show that uh, a love, um, perhaps somebody, a love partner, or I should say a romantic partner, uh, might have um, played a role uh, or given this person some assistance in developing uh, their abilities early on. Uh, you can look at this as well, that the sign, obviously, of Venus can play a role, too. Like, say, if it's in Cancer, it might have to do with, there might be, uh, what this person develops early on in life might be tied in with their uh, emotional, um, some emotional security. And um, if we look and say, let's put, let's say Venus was in Gemini, it could be something where this person has um, this, this uh, thing that this person pursues may help in terms of the, the cerebral um, enjoyment or the thing, the end of the intellectual happiness or satisfaction. That this per that they may um, they may look at, at something to do that would give them that they would derive some intellectual or, or cerebral sorry cerebral uh, pleasure from uh, to some uh, or or I could also we could also say that a relationship that might have been um, emphasized on a, on a mental level on, on some to some degree may have played um, a role in their. Um, I guess you could say in, in somehow with their abilities uh, that they have emphasized early on during their life. Um, we look at this, um, play these aspects too, and obviously if you have a sex style or trine, it's very auspicious, but like with all uh, positive aspects, sex styles and trines can also bring complacency and perhaps some lethargy or some, uh, some self-satisfaction where it's good to have, I mean, Venus in, in the South, uh, Sex Dollar Trine in the South Node are obviously very positive aspects, but at the same time, we have to remember that uh, not to become complacent or self-satisfied and always keep trying to work to develop uh, the abilities uh, that are connected with these aspects. Now, maybe uh, another thing, too, is that this person might find uh, be it m might do something connected with a, a Venus ruled occupation maybe or interest in the first part of their lives especially. I'm not saying they wouldn't do it in the second half but might be very emphasized the first half. 
it could be something connected with beauty, cosmetics, uh, maybe home design, decor, or something that uh, modeling, something where the arts can be connected. Maybe this could range anything from abstract art, painting, drawing, sculpting. Uh, so anyway, people, uh, that'll conclude this YouTube uh, astrological segment for Venus sextile or trying the south node in a natal horoscope. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about Venus and major adverse aspect to the south node in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well